Hopkins joining us from Satellite. And the talk for this fight already heating up, B-Hop. You, you said Dawson's got to prove he belongs in the ring with you. This, this is a former champion, Bernard. What did you mean by that? Well, I meant that he has to show that not only that he's young and he's athletic, but uh, he wants it. He wants it here, and he wants it bad. And the reason I said that is because he hasn't been looking that great um, in the last at least two fights. And I beat the guy that beat him, and now we're here. And this is his opportunity that he might not get again. And so October 15th, HBO pay-per-view, uh, I will show that the ageless warrior and still continue to beat the young boys. And look, he's already talking right there. He says you've been ducking him for the years and plans to bring the fight to you, unlike your last opponent, Jean Pascal, who you beat, of course, who beat him. How do you plan to deal with that, his aggressiveness? Well, I'll let his good attributes be his worst nightmare, and I have to offset anything that he tries to do or that he do. And so at the end of the day, um, it's just about the strategy and about who won it the most. I mean, all the strategy and everything normally is great, but then when it, you know, the heat get hot, uh, it becomes now a situation who won it the most. And I still want to be in this position. Uh, I want to represent the 40 and up club. And so uh, October 15th will be the perfect time to, to display that on HBO pay-per-view. As part of that club, I want to thank you personally. Uh, owe this to, to hold a belt, but you also hold the record for the most title defenses by middleweight champion. So when you look back at your boxing career, what are you most proud of? The title defense, and also I can throw in the Felix Trinidad fight in 2001, coming up on 10 years this September. Um, yeah, them, them two. Uh, but the title defense is in the middleweight division. Um, it's very impressive to uh, win the title and then defend it uh, you know, over two dozen times is, is, is unheard of, really, in, in, in the sport of, of boxing. All right, we'll, we'll be checking out the October 15th fight against you and Chad Dawson. But the big fight, you know, everyone wants to see. It's a household name. It's Manny Pacquiao. It's Floyd Mayweather. And some believe Floyd may be ducking Manny. Here's what NFL Hall of Famer Michael Irvin had to say about the whole situation. Now, he's a football, former football player, but he's talking boxer. I wish Mayweather would go ahead and fight the guy. He makes brothers look bad with all the running. You know we're not into the running now. Pac's a bad boy. You usually speak your mind, especially when it comes to these type of topics. So what do you make of what Irvin had to say about that fight or lack of? Well, well, I, I, I agree half of what Irvin said, and I understand his mentality. Um, and I'm a very respectful uh, uh, guy of his craft. And, and it, Floyd it, Mayweather, is, is, is Floyd feel, ducking, Floyd, is Floyd no, ducking he's not, Manny? I, no, I don't. Okay. I think Floyd, no, I think that Floyd uh, knows the time to fight Manny. I think that he really cares about, you know, fighting a guy that is on an up and up like he is and most people in the sport that shown that they don't need anything or take anything to be who they are. Do I think Manny's taking something? No. I think Manny's ability is just proving that in this era that he is the guy that, that you have to beat and have the talent. Now, I think all that at the end is going to fade out and it could become Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. I believe in 2012, they are, they going to, it's going to be a mega fight, the, one of the biggest fights since Ali and, and, and George Foreman, Ali and Frazier. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to 2012 when that fight's going to happen. They're going to fight, and hopefully me and Michael Irvin won't be saying the same thing, <laughs> sort of the same thing uh, <laughs> next year. All right. We'll see if that fight comes to fruition. We do know that on October 15th you will be fighting Chad Dawson in Los Angeles. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. Bernard Hopkins, the executioner, hanging out with us here.